We're off the back of a semi Scottish Cup semi final, brother. I'm glad I got a semi at the 48, but we're here. Rangers transfer news. Didn't make one yesterday or, or even the day before. So I, I've been slacking, right? But with news and with Bacchus, we've seen that he, St Mirren would be willing to sell him for 350000 and just go and get him, Rangers. We're sitting in the 16th of January, man, and we've signed no one. I'm worrying. I'm, uh, seriously, I'm worrying. Tillman, also, I don't know if there's going to be any mention about Tillman in today's FID, because these articles, but he said it's really down to Bayern and Rangers, wherever he goes, which basically is like, yes, I want to stay here, but it's up to see if Rangers pay the fee and whether Bayern will be totally okay with it. Um, it says here, though, back is 350k for him, and it says the championship clubs... Cardiff City, Middlesbrough and Norwich City are all eyeing moves to sign back. Now, he could do a Ryan Porteous say he can't be arsed for the league anymore and would literally just want to move anywhere else. Or he could say no. Nah. But I actually think he might stay with St Mirren until the summer. But he is at a contract. I think he's got another year and a half then. Um, but 350k, man, it, it's very... It's very reasonable, man. It would be fucking... It would be idiotic for Rangers not to pay a fee of this size to get a player his quality, an international. You know, he's that good. Sticks out like a sore thumb for St Mirren. It's a thumbs up for me. Right? Which brings us to the next transfer news of today. And Gers ready to bring Morgan Whitaker to Ibrox. Reject it. But Swansea seem open to selling. Um... Rangers want Morgan Whitaker, and I've already had a bid rejected for the Swansea City attacker after being recalled this month. That's according to Wales Online, pishest website or article, whatever you want to call it, ever. Who claimed that Rangers are the mystery club who field an offer for Whitaker. I'm not buying that. Manager Russell Martin, formerly of Rangers himself, indicated last week that an offer from an unnamed club has been received. I, I, I'm not seeing this. I'm not saying it's impossible, like, but... The amount of news that I cover and the amount of like stuff that people talk about Rangers in terms of transfers, this guy has no been mentioned. It's been Raskin, it's been Cantwell, it's been Bacchus, it's been Shankland, it's been Porteous. I mean, I could name about 27 more if I really wanted to, but we're not going to do that here. We're just going to talk about this guy. Don't know an awful lot about him, if I'm being honest. He must, So he was on loan at um, Plymouth there, by the looks of it. But... Aye, I, I'm not really, I, I don't know, man. I, I think Bacchus would be the man to go for. And, and again, we've had a bid reject. It doesn't even mention the, the, the sort of size of bid or not, like, which just, to me, just seems absolutely bullshit. It's full of shite, this article. This deal is no happening, which brings us to the last bit of news. I'll probably make a transfer news video later. And it says here, Rangers very interested in potential free transfer for defender face competition from France and Holland. Um, and who are we looking for? However, it appears Rangers are looking at younger reinforcements. Normally that's Celtic's cup of tea, but Rangers are diving into the younger reinforcements. And it says, if Younes Futex Futois in France are to believe they're eyeing up a young right back in Belgium. His name is Noah Sadiqi who currently plays for Anderlecht and the website claim he's being supervised not only by the Scottish club, but also Lille and PSV in the Netherlands. The youngster is out of contract in the summer, which makes him an attractive prospect for a free transfer, and that will be part of the reason why Rangers are very interested in the 18-year-old. While he isn't a regular in the Belgian side, he still has 17 appearances to his name in the first team, meaning that he is showing a lot of promise. Whether Rangers and Beal pull the trigger and try an approach for the summer remains to be seen. But they appear to be thinking about it for sure. So, boom! I'm all for this because we're lacking right-back options. Define, I mean, he can't play right-back, but... Well, what have saying that? Tav's been a bit... I don't know, it's a weird one. Like, I mean, if you get this guy, it kind of halts Define's progress, in my opinion. So, I'm not 100% sure whether or not to yeah, actually go ahead and get this guy. But if we look at the Scottish football... Gossip column, there's not an awful lot. Uh, Pitu could be going to Rangers. This guy, um, Alexei Pitu, who was like me, moved to Rangers last week, would love to play for Ibrox Club and reunite with former teammate Yanis Hadji. So, you know what? Get the guy signed. I mean, the fact that the club he's at is owned by Hadji's dad, well, I mean, Hadji himself, of course. Uh, you think that move would be uh, fairly likely and they can usher something in there. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it 
for uh, this video. Hopefully Rangers can get the finger out and get some deals across the line. And hopefully Kamar Roof's injury ain't as bad as what it seems. Because it looks like it's a broken arm in my opinion. From my medical standpoint that I know approximately he hot in. But until then, peace.